Hello, today I'm going to show you how to build a tier 3 or processing system in uh, mechanism version 9. Uh, this system lets you turn one ore into four ingots. Uh, now it doesn't work with all ores, uh, it only works with ingot type ores, so like gold, iron, osmium, copper, tin, uh, but it doesn't work with like diamonds or redstone um, or lapis. So the first you're going to need is you're going to want to have a thermal evaporation plant set up. Now I already have a video on how to make this, so if you don't know how to make one or you don't already have one, you're going to want to watch that tutorial first. Um, and since I already have a tutorial on that, I'm not going to explain how to make this, but uh, you're just going to want um, one of these built. Uh, I would recommend go ahead and building a max one, just because you never know. Um, and you're just going to need a, a one with that makes brine. You don't need to worry about lithium. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to place down a therm or electrolytic separator uh, that takes brine. So it might be different than what you're used to. Normally it takes water, but this one needs brine. And with that it will make uh, sodium and chlorine. Now sodium you don't ever need, so you can go ahead and just uh, dump the excess of that. Uh, but you will need the chlorine. Next thing is you need a chemical infuser. That's where the chlorine goes. So you use pressurized tubes to move the gas. And then you're going to need another electrolytic separator. This one takes water. So you need the hydrogen. Put that up. And you'll see this will start making hydrogen chloride. And you will need the oxygen for this. And also, I forgot, uh, you want to set these both to dump excess as well, just in case it gets stuck. The next thing you're going to want is a chemical injection chamber. This will take the hydrogen chloride that comes from the infuser. And this is also where you're going to be putting in your ores. So uh, you could have a, you know, like a chest that I'll pull ores from, but I'm not going to do that. Um, I'm just going to put the ores in here. I'm just going to go ahead and um, get some iron ore to put in it just so you can kind of see how it goes through and just make sure it's working. The next thing you'll need is a purifying factory. Uh, I would recommend using a factory instead of a normal purification chamber because uh, the injection chamber produces three shards per ore. So if you don't use a factory, it'll kind of bottle up, bottleneck up here. Uh, hook it up to power, and then also you need the oxygen from the electrolytic separator with water. Uh, hook up oxygen, and you will need to use edit side config here. So open up the injection chamber, go to side config, turn on auto eject, and it will automatically go into the purification chamber. Uh, you might also need to set this to make sure this is on input on red uh, if it doesn't work. And go ahead and turn this to auto eject on too. And uh, to make it fill up all the slots, turn on auto sort here. The next thing you're going to want is a crushing factory, and then you're going to place down an enriching factory, and then uh, you'll need a smelting factory as well. And all these, go ahead and turn on auto eject on all of them. Go ahead and I'm just going to go ahead and get a chest to so go in at the end. And power them on, also turn on auto sort these on too. You will see that uh, it'll turn into the shards will go turn into clumps, the clumps will go into the dirty dust, and then the dirty dust will turn into normal dust, and then it'll smelt it and turn into ingots. Uh, now it's important to note that this is not like the optimized setup, though there will there will always be an uh, a bottleneck. Uh, you know, you can put in all the speed upgrades you want and all this stuff, but there will always be a bottleneck somewhere. Um, so you can obviously make this go a lot faster than how it's going right now. Um, but I would start with, you know, the water going into the brine. And uh, these electrical separators, the gas upgrades help a lot, make them go faster, produce. But yeah, uh, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Bye.